our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk a little about soil health tests. Now, there are some government programs out there for farmers that will help them pay for certain things out in their field. Okay, one of the things that a lot of farmers are looking at is just reducing tillage, and we talk all the time about the amount of carbon that's out there and everything else. Well, in order to prove that a soil is getting healthier, the government in some cases requires that soil health tests be run. So we wanna to talk today just a little bit about what is the soil health test and how can you get pretty much the same information without having to spend the money on an actual soil health test. All right, well, when you think about soil health tests, there's a couple things going on here. First of all, we do really care about what the nutrient levels are in soils, and even the soil health test, you're gonna pull a soil test. But what we're kind of trying to add to that with the soil health test is just to find out, well, what's the microbial activity out in your soil? And so what they're looking for is respiration. So they're looking for how much carbon dioxide is getting eaten up by the soil, how much oxygen is being released, and they can find out exactly what's going on out there and how many living things are in the soil. Well, with these soil health tests, there are many different ones out there. So we're not gonna say that there is any one in particular that, oh, you have to use this. So if you do happen to be in a government program or for some other reason you need a soil health test, just look at whatever they are requiring and run that particular test. But what I always tell people is, you know, just off a regular soil test, if I have complete soil analysis, I can pretty much tell you if your soil is healthy or not. Well, one of the things that we look at on a soil test is organic matter levels. And I, I know it doesn't necessarily tell you exactly how much fertilizer you put on for a crop, but as we see organic matter levels rising, well, organic matter is where microbes live in your soil. So if you've got higher levels of organic matter, that's a good thing. Yeah, so usually if we have, let's say, 5, 6, 7% organic matter, we've got a much healthier soil as opposed to when we have 1 or 2% organic matter. The other thing I'm looking at is just the overall nutrient balance. If I find there are some nutrients excessively high and other nutrients completely deficient, typically we don't have as healthy of a soil. And you think about why. Okay, if crops out there or any plants out there are suffering, well, naturally then they're not gonna produce as much. They're not gonna have as many roots that are growing. And one of the most important things for a healthy soil is having good roots growing out there because those roots do a lot of things to stimulate the overall microbial activity in the soil. So again, on that regular soil test, we're looking for organic matter and then just an overall nice balance of nutrients, including we want that pH kind of in a neutral area. Now, as we're walking out in the field too, Brian, one other thing that I really look for is, do I see residue from three previous crops? It's normal to see last year's residue out in the field. It takes some time for that to break down and that's what microbes do in soil. And when we have good healthy soils, residue breaks down timely. If it's not breaking down timely, we may have an issue with soil health. And of course, there are other things we can look at too, everything from drainage to compaction. So the whole thing here today is we just wanted to let you know there are specific soil health tests, but a lot of times if you just make a visual observation out in the field and you look at the regular soil analysis, you can determine whether that soil is healthy or not, in many cases without even running the soil health test. One other thing we want you to be watching for out in your fields is our Weed of the Week. We'll show you how to stop this tough weed later in the show. <music> 